Good morning, church family. Um, it was a great uh, Sunday that we had yesterday. Um, and I just want to reflect on the verses. Well, not reflect. I want to repeat the words that Jerry read to us as we began our service. Words from Romans chapter 8, starting with verse 31 and reading through the very end. Reading from the New Living Translation. What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare his, his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are perse persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scripture says, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all of these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory. Have a great day and celebrate that God will never leave you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.